I mean, they, they, they work very well. Um, I'm told the people that have them are quite happy. Basically. I've tried it. Yeah, I've got some of the feeling there. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the nice wire, especially over that side, because it's bolted on that side. So lift it on and off. By all means, well, you can, and you can see the that's the bottom block. That's the cover. That's the cooling block. There's a, there's a labyrinth in there mm -hmm. that. Uh, that sends the water backwards and forwards to extract all the heat out of it, and then that, and then it sends it off to the, off to the radiator to be cooled and recycled. You know, it's, uh, it suddenly starts. My whole idea was that, you know, solar panels were. Is that messing with your camera? No, that's good. <laughs> And then what does uh, what's the secret behind that? Magic. <laughs> Deep what? dark magic. No, I'll tell you. Um, it's, it's they're called Peltier modules, which is a misnomer because they're not really Peltier modules. They're Seebeck modules. Peltier modules are the things that you put in cool boxes. You know the little cool boxes that people plug into their car. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, what they do is they have a, the module. If you, if you run electricity through it, one side gets hot and the other side gets cold. Right. Right. And if you take the, and if you cool the hot side down, then the cold side will get colder. Uh -huh. That's how that little cold box, cool box works. It's incredibly inefficient. Um, but it doesn't matter for little cold blocks. But what we're doing here is you take a similar module, it's not the same, but it, it's similar. You reverse it, you turn it right on its head and you put heat to one side and keep the other side cold and it spits electricity back out. It's like working a pump and a motor in reverse. You, you, if you turn the motor, then it'll turn the pump. It's, that's exactly how it works and they're all coupled together. Um, and I have a water cooling pump, a water cooling pump, right. to keep the cold side cold, which is dry, which is circulating the water to the radiator that you, that you saw. Yeah, it's still inefficient um, because the, the technology isn't very efficient, but it's using heat that we've got anyway. Yeah, exactly. So we're not using anything extra. We're just converting a tiny bit of that heat into this. So, what happened with those boxes? Do you sell them, or you just yes. made it for you? No, 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 no. I, I sell them. Um, uh, I'm not in full production yet. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be. If somebody wants one, I can I can let them have one. It'll take me a few weeks to to get there. The 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 only reason we can't say yes, you know, and put them out into the world completely at, at this moment is that we're still tooling up mm -hmm. um, because the machining of the castings is, is quite critical. Oh, so all this you've invented and it's quite, I or, or the adaption for this? Uh, right, adaption, that's, okay. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't invented anything. Right. Um, what I've done is turned components that you could buy into something that you can use. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've looked and figured out what I think are the important elements that need attention, paying to them. Um, there are a few, and the machining is one of them. And to be able to do the machining at a fast enough rate to be able to supply loads and loads to, to mm -hmm. lots of customers, which is what I love to do, um, it takes, a, it takes a, a bit of tooling up for. Um, so how much is a unit like that going to cost to uh, retail about 450 right um, and how much could somebody make it for or do you not release how to do it as it <laughs> probably about the same oh really because of all the work that you need to do um, and so there are things, there are parts of it that you can't do if you can machine a plate to within a thousandth of an inch oh, <laughs> 
and then get the surface to within 23 micro inches, 23 millionths of an inch. So what's surface, the surface finish? You know, the, 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 you know that that end of it. Um, so the overall concept's clear. Heat, temperature, well, temperature difference, and you're all taking power off that. But how? How am I taking power off? How you? How you making electricity out of the temperature difference? The thermocouples. Thermocouples, right. Okay. They're, they're, each module has 172 thermocouples in it, and the junctions of the thermocouples, of the positive and negatives, um, they're all in series. So you can read about them anywhere on the web. If you, you just Google Peltier module or something, you'll find lots of information. Um, but you can't use the ones that you use in fridges because they're not designed for the temperatures. Right. Um, they're soldered together. All these tiny little junctions are soldered together and the solder isn't designed for stove kind of temperatures. The, the solder would melt. So it has to be silver soldered. I'm doing 20 watts, but I'm, I don't want to tell people it'll really do more than that. But I'm hoping that people that buy them will be very pleasantly surprised in winter.